Alright, so Alice here and I'm in Miami with Lawrence Aponte, who's one of our advisors at Pitch Investors Live. What you're seeing in the background is a nice house where a bunch of uh, the uh, team members live here in Miami. And today what I wanted to talk about is some growth tips uh, when we're regarding uh, blockchain companies and sort of Lawrence's experiences in uh in marketing so if you want to give us uh, some tips and yeah experience. for sure thanks for having me alice um like alice is mentioning i'm the one of the growth advisors for pitch investors live and basically i help with with growing the company and kind of getting the right set of eyeballs uh, and you know on us so we can kind of distribute the information that, that we have and get you know more investors and startups um kind of on our platform and whatnot and one of the main things that that we kind of strive for with pitches is, is one thing is branding and mm. another thing is is also social the hat media. And the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let we got our it. branded <laughs> apparel. <laughs> so branding is definitely like a, a big thing um, nowadays with whenever you're doing your token sale or anything that even has to, to do with blockchain and making sure that that everything kind of resonates with one another. And we try to keep you know that that same pattern across um, all social media, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, etc. Um, and so community building is definitely um, one of the one big thing that, that you know we, we focus here on at, at pitch that's awesome and so what are and, and I understand you also work on other blockchain projects what are some of list three um, tips for businesses so that they can avoid certain t pitfalls so yeah what are yeah. some three things they should really keep in mind so they don't run out of funds or or engage in a marketing strategy that's that's really not fit for yeah them. yeah for sure so um one thing like i mentioned earlier was like community engagement mm -hmm. um you definitely want to kind of keep your community engaged and um, one channel that we find um, kind of keeping communication is through Telegram. Okay. Um, Telegram is one of those channels that a lot of the blockchain community kind of resides on for the encryption and kind of the fast and easy access. Um, so definitely kind of keeping your, your community engaged is, is definitely one big thing that I would I would highly suggest. Um, and also kind of, uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with the community aspect, but um, having someone kind of like delegating your Bitcoin talk forum, because um, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff like uh, insights of the of your token sale and the blockchain kind of go through there, and uh, big members of the community kind of give their their two cents on it. It's it's sort of like the Reddit of the crypto, um, interesting, you know, uh, the aspect of it. yeah, the crypto world, so to speak. And I guess the last one um, would have to do with like with press releases. Um, press releases are, are super important in, in in crypto world simply because you want to be able to get the word of, of your company of your message out there to the masses. And a lot of times you can do it through um, press releases, whether you're getting on a, a major publication or even a secondary publication. That's awesome. And so when we talk about Telegram engagement, how do we truly engage the community or find an agency or to type a service provider that can do that for us? Yeah, so, what are some recommendations? So one thing that I've, I've definitely found is that even like in the Telegram communities, they won't necessarily be talking about the coin itself. A lot of times it's just kind Interesting. of um, the community members talking and giving value about whether it's the blockchain, they're sharing articles, they're sharing memes. And it, it's more than just, you know, it, it becomes like a community engaged family. And, and it's kind of like sharing value is definitely one, one big thing you can do to create engagement okay so and what's a meme a meme is basically <laughs> um, it could be like a little photo uh, they typically uh, it's uh, they have a like, a, like a gif <laughs> like a like a funny quote that kind of goes with the picture and you know it's like an inside funny joke thing awesome yeah. and so when we're posting uh, photos uh, about our blockchain project so should they all be branded Should the logo be on under every photo or like how do you balance brand with just a branded photograph with just an uh, like a, a selfie or an instant photo yeah. should they yeah. all be branded I mean um, I, I there's, there's sort of like the 80 20 rule you know you kind of want like 80 percent of your stuff branded in my my opinion because branding okay. is, is definitely consistent you know you want to keep consistent across the entire channels and I think branding is, is definitely a big thing but not everything has to be completely branded but okay. I kind of go with the 80 20 rule on that awesome awesome and then you've also mentioned uh, the Bitcoin talk as a uh, as the cryptocurrency, as the Reddit of the cryptocurrency world, what are? I mean, people ask me all the time: Is that how do I get to these service providers, or what is the, like the first content piece I should release? What is really going to get the the virality for the engagement? What are some 
some insights from yeah that. so like with the bitcoin talk forum one of the first posts that's, that typically happens is your it's called an and thread which is your announcement thread okay and it's it's basically um your website transformed into a like a text style like long form sales page so to speak oh, okay and it kind of like gives your high overview of the project and um, from that, you, you actually get a lot of engagement of people giving like their, their two cents, what they think about the project. Awesome. Um, you'll have people trying to even uh, join your project to complete like bounties where mm -hmm. they want to mm -hmm. like uh, uh, translate the white paper or translate your website. And, you know, kind of creates engagement from that. So the engagement and then uh, so pe the engagement piece is important because other service providers in this industry offer their services like the translations of the documents into Arabic or Farsi which actually helps penetrate other marketplaces. Yeah, absolutely. You can definitely kind of like like uh like like I was saying just go into different marketplaces whether you're awesome. trying to go into the Middle East, we're trying to go into Asia where you know token sales and ICOs are really hot right now and you know it's it's good, you know, to kind of bring the the uh, entire blockchain community together. What about countries where ICOs are banned like in China currently? Yeah, I mean, um, I, on the surface, it, it, it looks kind of bad, right? Like like they're banning yeah. ICOs, but I mean, like f attending these events, like the blockchain conference forum that we went to a couple of weeks ago, um, man, the, the Chinese market is booming. Like a lot of people are like like contributing and they're, they're just a part of the movement. So, I mean, uh, like I said, on the surface, it looks like they're banned, but a lot of guys on the back end are just really in into it really deep. That's awesome. And so one of the concerns that Telegram users have is uh, spam and, and um, you know, f people with false identities that come in and, and, and do all the spam activity. How do we minimize that? How do we kind of better protect ourselves so that we don't hurt our brand? In yeah, Telegram? Um, what, yeah, Telegram, you can get like, like kind of spammy and, and yeah, like some scams even come about where people kind of pretend to be the admin of, of the token and, you know, try to contribute and ask for donations to certain addresses. And, and they one, provide like a hyperlink where you can donate? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, it gets, and you don't know because they, they're pretending to be the admin or the, the company representative. Yeah, so, wow. so oh, okay. one thing that you can definitely do is kind of have a pin post um, at the top of your, your Telegram channel or your group, um, kind of stating your rules and also have a list of the actual admins that are a part of that community. Interesting. And so when you say pin post, that's sort of like in the description of the Telegram group. Yeah. It you, shows um, all your f social media links. Right, and the, right, the, right. The, the names of the individuals who manage the group. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't Bitcoin. send any Ethereum or Bitcoin through Telegram either way unless you really kind of know the person. And it is encrypted, you know? so you yeah, can't exactly. really track it. Right, exactly, exactly. Awesome, awesome. And so where do you f foresee um, activities and growth in the next two to five years? Yeah, I mean, honestly, um, the the adoption is, is probably about 1% worldwide, right? And, 1%, um, wow. I'd say we're definitely gonna like as as the years pass, we're definitely gonna like reach like exponential growth, where it's gonna double and become two percent, and two becomes percent um, becomes four uh. percent, and so on and so forth. And I think slowly but surely, it's just gonna become um, adopted massively. Like like the, there's no there's no doubt about it that you know um, digital currency is 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 the future, and we're just in an evolution phase. And I'm definitely all for it. That's exciting. And um, so the last uh, sort of bit of advice is that where, how can our viewers um, find us? Like if we're looking at uh, even beyond pitch, how, how can, you know, what's the first step? Like the first step is contacting the, the person on the website or joining the Telegram or joining the Facebook group. What's sort of like the best way to... Yeah, reach out um, to these blockchain companies uh, typically i mean linkedin is a great way to kind of re reach awesome. out to, to to blockchain companies and, and see exactly who's involved with the project and you know what kind of background they have awesome. um, it's definitely been one of our top ones that, that we've been using and um you know just kind of networking from linkedin to finding um other people in this space and why not just you know networking with one another awesome thanks for that lawrence and alice here in miami peace <laughs> Thank you.